I O. We made this. Mo Seven did it again. Welcome back, welcome back. So today we've got someone that's been kind of a name in the underground rap scene for a long time. Many of you guys might know him, some people might be new to him, but he's been grinding away for a long time and that like, we're all trying to highlight some of the people whose names we've seen, but we're not really sure what's going on with them um, and for them to tell their story basically. So today we've got Coins Hello, from Pembury, the E5. Yeah, E5, Lord Clapton. Okay, so... Um, like we always do with this, we always start from scratch. Yeah. So we'll take it back to when you was young. So was you uh, always born in Hackney? Is that where you're from? No, no, no. I was born in a place called Bath Store. Like, it's near Bristol. Okay. You know I'm saying? That's where my, my mum's originally from. Okay. I was born there. Uh, when did you guys move? Um, We come to Hackney. Or I think she moved to London as soon as I was born, just after. But I think we moved to Hackney when I was like four. Okay. I was like four, so I think we used to live like Chatsworth Road. Okay, um, okay. That's like... Clapton, but not Lower Clapton. It's like near Square Store. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah, when I was like like five or something, moved to Pembury. Yeah. Okay. Um, so would you live with your mum and dad? No, no, no. Just my mum's store. Are you, was you the only child at the time? Or? Yeah, I was the only child. I got a younger brother who's seven years younger than mine's store. Yeah. Did dad ever play a part? Not mine's store. Not my dad's store. Okay. Obviously. My brother's dad. Yeah, he was around store. Right. So growing up in a place like Pembury, I mean, Pembury sort of, I mean, when I first kind of hear, heard about Hackney, you also hear about um, London Fields, and one of the places you hear about was Pembury. It was a dangerous place. Mm -hmm. I mean, I live just on Amherst Road, not not far yeah. too off, off, off Pembury. And I go past it, it seems like a calm space, but there's that little past near, near Clarence Road where you see everyone sort of hang around. How was it growing up in that neighbourhood? Uh, Pembury was sick growing up. So I'm not going to lie, Carl, it was like, Quite a big estate, mm. so you know, like council estates, it's like a mad community in it. Yeah. It's like it's different in it. It's like you know, when you're just living on a normal street, when you leave your house, you don't necessarily see people just congregating and all yeah. that on a normal thing. And obviously, growing up on the state, it's like yeah, you got like all different groups of people just in and around, but it's like a one big family thing. Mm. But um, yeah, it was obviously it was sick store. Obviously, it had its problems. Yeah. Like, the police didn't like Pembury from the jump. Like when obviously. I'm 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 39, but like 2002 riots. No, yeah. that's not even spoken about no more. But mm. that was like just in Pembury State, innit? Yeah. 2012. No, no, 2002. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, okay, wow, well, okay. Like people don't know that if you're not from ends, you won't mm. know. But my man used to go at it with the feds, fam. Okay. Like, the man, them, the older ones, that were older than man and that. Like, mm. They used to go at it with the Jakes, and obviously, like the black, like, what stemmed from the Broadwater farm rights. Previous to that, there mm. was riots in Tottenham minute, and yeah. Broadwater Farm was notoriously in a, in a, uh, in a, a notorious estate that the police didn't like, and yeah. that was like Pembury in it. So growing up, it was mad. Like from a young age, boy, them are on you. Yeah. Like on man, they used to have dispersal orders from young. Like you can't be in a, a group of more than two. Like it was mad. So naturally, you got that. Grew up with that that mindset of like bond the boy in a minute. Mm. They're not like man don't like the boy. Then my might as well be on the other side, didn't it? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. That w that was easy to get into that lifestyle, but it was dope growing up though. What about school? What 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 was you um into in school? What was um I was strictly like I was on football still. Okay. Like, from young, I was um even now I'm still I still love football. But yeah, school days were just more about football, just running about, innit? Who, who's your team? Tottenham. Tottenham. Okay, okay. Tottenham, what's what's happened this season, man? What do you mean, bud? <laughs> what do you mean, man? <laughs> you just, you just, nah, 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 nah. I don't want to get into that, fam. Like, nah. Obviously, we're having a rocky one, but. Mm. It's not a new to us, bro. Yeah. Like, it's not a new to us. So, what was your ambitions though in, in primary school? Like, what did you want to be? Was it a footballer, like professional footballer? Um, yeah, a bit, of, a bit of me still, because I used to play it so much. I used to want to be a footballer. I, I used to want to be a singer still. Okay. Like, when I was in in like primary school, I used to like, like always recite the words of like man's favorite songs and try to sing. What R and B thing? Yeah, R and B like rap as well. But obviously, mm. when you're younger, you're not innocent, innit? Yeah. So, Man's just exposed to what I'm watching on TV and, mm. that, and like music channels and yeah. all that. So, yeah, I always wanted to be like an entertainer mm. or something, some sort of way. So. so, I always touch, with every person that comes here, I always touch about the father thing. And a lot of time it is a sensitive sub subject to a lot of people. But I always want to see, like, 
what's the transition that leads people there? Like my last interview, for example, with Stiggs, and he said both of his parents were there. He lived in the, his, his mum and dad were together. That that he lived in that household and still managed to to go the other way. Mm-hmm. Do you think that played a part at all in you? Do you think that if you had a your a, a father figure at the house, or did you find the father figures on the roads? Um, maybe I feel like I had the 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 father figure in my life was probably my granddad. Mm. Like he was like inf- mad influential, but he lived far in it. Yeah, he lived like near Bristol. So yeah, I live in Hackney, mm. so there's only so much contact, and you can you can't really see what's going on with me in yeah. it as in my in my in my gr- in my growth. Mm. So obviously, my mum used to work full time. Um, she's like proper like a lovely lady man she's never done no wrong fam like mm. she's done her best but obviously the time factor in it I'm spending yeah. a lot of time at school and then when I'm not at school I'm playing outside yeah. my mum's got to focus on work innit so naturally I'll gravitate towards outside innit and outside you'll see a man that's older than you mm. doing their thing yeah. like raw innit like man don't see that in my house mm. like, I see my mum and obviously as a male you kind of like have that you got the respect for your mum's on a f- like, but same time, you know when she, she, like she tells yeah. you something, you think you don't understand. Yeah, like, I'm a guy in it, so mm. I'm gonna f- figure out for my soul. So obviously, yeah, man, I, I sway towards outside a lot more. Like, obviously, I, not I'm not gonna say man, I was looking for a father figure, but obviously people that role model, like, yeah, like a role model mm. if that makes sense. Like man, them that's getting this dough, like man, them that's got their the line pattern, like you know what I'm saying, man, them that's driving the fly whips. Like obviously, naturally, when they take a notice of you. you you like the attention, innit? It's yeah. like, bro, like, my man's looking out for me and rare, rare, rare. You don't have that. Mm. It's the first time thing. So, yeah, I feel like that plays a part still. It does play a part. Do you, do, a part. Do, do you remember sort of the first time someone sort of called you over and said, yo, do this for me? And, or would you kind of like, you, you wanted to get involved? Or did someone say, yo, hold this for me, young G? Mm, do you know what it was? Nah, like, like, when we were younger, we kind of like made our own little thing first. Like, we kind of like, Obviously, we understood the olders and that were there. Like they used to chat to us now and again, more some of them more than others. But I don't know, man. Like we kind of had our own thing going on, and then like the man them above us kind of saw like, raw like these men are kind of yeah, they they're out here doing their little thing. So let's kind of you know like 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 mix with them a little bit more. And that's when obviously yeah, we don't really, you don't get asked to do stuff in it. But man, them will put scenarios across to you, and it's up to you if you want to take the take the position in it. So do you, do you actually remember like when you kind of felt like bona fide as part of a? I mean, I don't, I don't like we let's say the word gang, but yeah, part of a crew. Um, was it like year seven, year eight, year nine? When did you would, would you would say that transition happened? I would probably say like from like year ten, year ten, like year year eight, year nine. Like I said, I lived in the estate. I was hanging around people that were doing whatever they're doing, but my main thing was football. Yeah, like, I loved football still and just having fun in it. Mm. Man was innocent. Man was innocent, innit? Yeah. At the same time, innit? Man's heart's pure and all that. So, mm. yeah, man just wanted to have fun, fam. Yeah. Same time, man, obviously, you like the little badness. You like the little police chases. You like the little getting in trouble. But, like, on a gang thing, seriously, no. Nah, like, I kind of, like, started, yeah. So, I'll say, like, 2006, 2007. So, what's the sort of things at the beginning you just kind of get involved with? The little petty stuff? Yeah, obviously, at the beginning, it's just silly stuff, innit? Like, maybe you might try lick, lick a one, two pedal bikes, lick a ped... You know, like climb into this block and try and teach this local moped or something. Mm. Nothing too major, innit? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, then it slowly transcended into something else, then. It depends, innit? Obviously, when you're around certain people, you're around certain situations, things happen, innit? Mm. Like fights can break out, and yeah. then obviously you're not going to let your your friends stand there and fight. That's the yeah. that's the code, innit? Mm. So, nah, it's, it's a group thing, and nah, yeah. these people, you know, so things escalate from little situations. Like. So, uh, when did the name Coins come about? Um, I always had that store. I okay. always had that from like school. Well, not always, but like I used to bang out money up. Okay, like, that pound was, up. That was my <laughs> game, fam. Yeah. Like, like literally, like that's how I used to like eat my school lunch, bro. Mm. Like my old go to school with two pound. Mm. Like leave school with like nineteen pound in coins, mm. going KFC, busting mm. the man there. Like yo, what we eating? Fully loaded. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's how I got my name. So I just kept it. You, just to touch on pound up, because that was a, that was a big thing in our area as well. And I yeah. remember we actually started it. In our, well, it started in Warfield, McDonald's, and then we brought it outside our school. And every school used to come and play it outside. Mm. Did you? How was? What were the rules for you guys? Was it Lardy, uh, Lardy One, we Jingles? Yeah, different rules. It depends who you're playing with, innit? Mm. If you're playing with the the, the Jingles, yeah. like the Jingle guys, <laughs> yeah. like man, are saying anything, call it anything. But mm. more time, it's like last man, last man takes all Jingles, mm. um, Rollies, Rollies. If yeah. it's rolling, you can kick it. Yeah. Like man, man will bring all these mad rules mm. into it. Like obviously, if you flip the coins up, you have to, has to be above head high. Yeah. 
Like, yeah. Were, were, there, were, 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 were there any fights that came up? Because there's yeah, a lot of fights. Time, bro, yeah, bro, no, more than fights still. Mm. More than fights. Like, man, them, like, so a man shed blood over that game. Fam. Do you think that doing that at a young age, that makes people start gambling? Because the point that I used to gamble, because do you think that then ends up people going to do proper major gambling? Because people don't see it as a young age. You think, oh, I'm playing proud up, but that's when, I guess, your, your the gambling addiction can start. I, I, yeah, with the winning, but you see the pound up thing. It's more, it's more about skill, isn't it? Mm. It's not like I feel like gambling is more like it's just nuts, isn't it? It's mm. more about chance and risk, yeah. isn't it? Like pound up, there's a lot of skill involved, mm. isn't it? You know what I'm saying? If you got a good pitch, yeah. like yeah, you're, more time you're going to be first or second throwing mm. up them coins, isn't it? So you got more chance to win. But obviously, I understand. Yeah, like certain people can get the the wrong kick out of it, isn't it? Yeah. And it leads to other things, isn't it? But mm. I was good. Like pound up, that was me still. So then. In regards to uh, rapping, when did you start rapping? And who was you sort of into at the very beginning? Um, I started rapping, probably wrote my first verse when I was like 16. Yeah. 16. Um, I used to listen to Bear, Styles P, D Block, Mob Deep. Mm. Uh, I used to bang, I used to bang out, I'll be real, I used to bang out Bear, Mash Town, them times. Yeah. Um, L-O-R-D, like, you know, like the couple Hackney, there was like a couple Hackney rappers that yeah. I used to bang out, listen to Bear, Joe Black. Um, yeah, bro, just that... What, what more time the 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 underground rap scene like yeah. that's that's the what I used to take interest and, in the most and, and you say for example like yeah you used to uh, bang out Mash Town was it, and mm. you said I'll be honest is that saying that you you wasn't supposed to listen to Mash Town nah not then anyway but like obviously some people might not want to say that in it because mm. obviously you know, man know where I'm from and yeah. over the politics and all of that but yeah like when I was younger yeah bro that's who man was listening to yeah. like did you take inspiration to start rapping as well because everyone I mean um, we, everyone took inspiration from that. Like, that era, yeah, you got the, the Joe Blacks, the gigs, the Margs, mm. and so on. So was that a thing that we're... Um, more t- more Joe Black still. Like, yeah. Joe Black was... Do you know why? Because he used to have that, like... I don't know, something about his flow at the time. Like, it was just, like, calm. Like, mm. it was pain, though, wasn't it, fam? Yeah. Like, he's not even shouting. He's not... But, bro, man can hear the pain, bro. Mm. Like, man's been through it. Man's going through it. And that's what I could relate to like, yeah. the most, innit? Like, he he was an inspiration still. Did you, do you remember your, your first verse that you wrote? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember... And yeah. did you go and um, go to the studio for the first time? How was that? Um, it wasn't even a studio, fam. Man done it in my boy's yard. Yeah. Bro, some idiot mic, fam. Like, you know <laughs> them mics that man get on the, yeah. on the headphones? Okay. Like, one of those, bro. <laughs> man man, man, man ra- wrapped um, tissue and a, and, and a glove around it, bro. Okay. Like, literally, it was like bare makeshift, but that's what it was, isn't it? I mean, looking at the music industry now, compared to where, where it was then, where do you see the advantage that they, they have it now compared oh, to what you guys bro. had it? It's, like, it's crazy, like... Like, you could be nobody t- like today and be somebody tomorrow, innit? Mm. And I feel it was a lot harder to do that back in the days. Yeah. Obviously, exposure-wise, like, people only wanted to take in people that they knew was really out here. Like, yeah. with a, like you couldn't have a voice if you weren't about certain, mm. certain things, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. now anyone can just jump, pick up a mic and say whatever they want to say. Mm. It doesn't even matter if it's true or not. Like, if it bangs, it bangs. That's, that's mm. the generation now, innit? But back in the days, bro, like, if you weren't on your thing or if you weren't getting a certain amount of money in or if you weren't, like, doing certain joints on the road, blood, like, I don't want to hear you. you might, mm. Everyone going to tell you stop rapping, fam. Was it authentic? Yeah, you really have to be cut from a certain cloth, like, especially to do that street rap, mm. like, especially be, to be talking about certain things. Like, man, want to know that you, you're the guy. So yeah. Yeah, like, obviously, nowadays, it's easy. You don't have to be anybody, innit? Mm. You can just create yourself, innit? And I feel like that's, that's what a lot of men have done nowadays, innit? So, was you consistently rapping all that whole period, or did you take pauses and breaks? Because yeah. what what happened was that, I guess a lot of people. I mean, we look at gigs for example. He just continued rapping, mm-hmm. where other people were like, you know what? There's no more money in this, man. So I'm gonna fuck this off. It was that period that you was thinking, you know what? And you think that had you been consistent, maybe something else could have happened. Yeah, like now I probably would say, oh, if I stuck at it, like if I gave it my all every year, like every month, every day, like dedicated to music, maybe I would have been in a better position musically, but. I was like it wasn't always my main passion, mm. like to say I wanted to make it. Yeah. Like obviously when you're younger, yeah, but like, certain things happen in your life. Like obviously the streets played a big part. Mm. And like I was doing music, but it wasn't solely just a blow, it was just like, right, this is the man that's a to hobby. Him. The hobby and my right, man needs to put man's man's ends on the map, like mm. niggas need to know, raw, like man's ends does this thing and rare, 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 rare. So it weren't a thing like to elevate, it weren't to feed man's family, it was just raw. Like, is that more of a representation of your area? Exactly. You know, and yeah, but as I as 
I grew and matured. Obviously, I realized, raw like man's got actually got a talent, mm. and man need to use it for the best, yeah. better myself, innit? Mm. And the and my area, not just to pull it on the map in that sense, innit? You know what I mean? What, what would you say is the legacy of of Pembury in that area? What would you say? Because like I said, I hear now sort of living back and forth in Hackney and South London, that like I'm starting to find out more about different areas, mm. be it Kingsmead, be it um, Homerton, and so on. Where do you think that the legacy of Pembury is in terms of the status of the area itself? Uh, Pembury is just, I'll be real with you, bro. It's just, it's just, it's the mud, bro. Mm. I'll be real with you, fam. Like, Pembury is the mud. Like, you, you got certain ends in Hackney. Like, you got ends that, like, man, know that, yeah, them man that trap you over there, them man that flash you over there. Pembury, bro, it's just muddy, fam. Mm. Like, man, them, yeah. Man, them over there, fam. Like, it's just Gaza, bro. Like, mm. literally, Gaza, it's been like that for time. Like, man are not the, the flashiest guys. Man are not the, you know what I'm saying? But everyone's ready to go and do sh- mm. that thing. So, yeah, it's hard, obviously. It's hard because, like I'm saying, man, when positivity comes into your life, you want to elevate and do certain things, innit? But mm. obviously, man, they have to keep it far at the same time, innit? Man, them stick to the code over there still. Mm. Like, man don't tolerate enough, no bullshit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, did you ever have any issues with the law at any point? Yeah, from young, fam, from young. Like, so, do you remember, like, your first arrest or anything like that? Yeah, um, yeah, it was for a robbery, I think, yeah, robbery, whatever even man that done it still. It wasn't, like, it, wasn't, it was a few of us that got bagged, and it wasn't even any of us, it was mistaken identity, but the maddest thing is we were out that night anyway. Okay. On robberies. Okay. But for that said robbery that we got nicked for, it weren't even, it weren't even us. But I remember, yeah, man was 16, like, got bagged, and I'm thinking, all right, cool, yeah, man's getting arrested. It's an experience now, isn't it? Mm. You know what I'm saying? And when man got to the station, like, I remember the officer saying, yeah, like, oh, you better get your head down. I'm thinking, what? Am I sleeping it? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's like, yeah, mate, like, it's, it's late now. You're going to get interviewed in the morning. I'm saying, no, 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 no. I've got to go home. Like, he's like, no, mate, there's no going home. Like, you're staying it. And, and that's when I was thinking, shit, this is real. Like, and did your yeah. mom take it? Um, she was on man. She was on man straight yeah. away. But obviously, my, my, I had a duty solicitor, but they were showing her, right, it weren't him. Okay. Like it really weren't him. Like the descriptions are mad. The, the, the descriptions don't match up. Rare, rare, rare. So she can't. She was on man for getting nicked and being out. Yeah. Like bit late and that. But yeah, she was cool still. She was cool because I bust that case. It wasn't a man anyway. Yeah. So in regards to prison, did you have any experience of going to prison? Yeah, man's had a few still. I've been a few times. Um, been a few jails as well. Um, and how was that experience for you? Like going to jail and for the first time, which was, was apprehensive, anxiety, or would you like, nah, fuck this, I'm jail now, yeah, I've got no, the badge. No, I always expect, not even I've got the badge thing, car. it's not even a thing to brag about, like, it's never, like, I will tell anyone, jail's never a thing to brag about, anyone can go jail, fam, mm. the smartest, or the, 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 the most silliest man, like, mm. it doesn't discriminate, but, obviously, just, just, obviously you want to see if you can, because you hear all the stories, innit, like, some of your man, them, raw, they gone wild from young age, so, yeah. you're hearing raw, like, gets cracking, and you're just thinking, raw, could I handle that, you know what I'm mm. saying, you like to think that you can, and obviously when I went, yeah, bro, like, it's just a thing to say, all right, man's here now, innit, mm. my man's got to ride it, obviously, it helps, innit, when you go to jail with someone that's, that's your boy, or whatever, not like, man, I had a cold D the first time I went, yeah. so, me and him were together anyway, okay. he's already been to the camp, what was the first jail? Um, high down. High down, okay. High down. That was in South. Yeah, London. in South still. Um, obviously, so it's like a while and a, it was a while and an adult, innit? Yeah. So you've got young man, old man. Mm. So, yeah, obviously, it was a new experience, but it was calm still. I mean, let's, let's go a bit forward into, I guess, the 2000 and I think 11, right? Is it 2011, right? Or yeah, 12? Yeah, 11. 2011. 2011, right. That was, I mean, I was in jail at the time. I was in Belmarsh at the time, but I remember seeing... Pembury estate lit up and like it was just crazy. I mean, can you can you talk through that night? Like, yeah. if you was there, if you saw what happened in regards to just that the experience of people just actually stand up, but also how wild it was. Yeah, it was mad. It was like a movie store. Like, man, went, like, I, that's what I went jail for. Okay, that was, like, that was the first time I ever went jail. Okay, so what the, the, the caught you on camera? So yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you man, on on camera. Um, they said that man was lighting bins on fire and. Wait, you, you, you weren't the one with the Adidas jacket that is <laughs> the iconic guy with the Adidas jacket. Uh, but everyone thinks that's man, but it's not. I, did I, I, I was just assuming, no, so everyone actually thought that was you. Yeah, everyone thinks that's man. Right, the I imagine. Suit, yeah, the grey, the blue one. It weren't me, it's <laughs> Okay. So, I mean, that whole experience of the, the, the actual rights itself, was it a sense of people actually saying, you know what, police injustice, police brutality, or did you think just, I know it's a, it's a fucking chance for us to cause riot and actually... Nah, nah. 
Because if that if that was the case, there'll be riots every other week. Yeah. That man's like it worked that, but mm. obviously, aside the, obviously the Mark Duggan thing was mad, didn't it? Yeah. That's mad in general. Like anyone can that's on the roads. Anyone can you can feel that, bro. Mm. Like that could have been anyone. That's how we're looking at it. But previous to that, like about a week or so ago, before the riots actually kicked off. They done like an operation, yeah. Now they now man's hearing about them so frequently. Yeah. Like before, like that was 011, yeah. Mm. Man wasn't really aware of them things, mm. Man's thinking that they only do that in America and yeah. the wire and that. So they done some operation where they had like like they set up a t-shirt shop, yeah, a t-shirt printing shop. Yeah. Right? In the ends. Obviously, I don't know if they knew the man them were gonna come or someone mm. led them. I mm. don't know, but the man them ended up going to this t-shirt printing shop called Man them do music and yeah. all these things. So man wanna get man's t-shirts printed. Obviously, it was Jake's, isn't it? Okay. So obviously, yeah, they're saying, yeah, we can get, do you good prices on mm. bundles and da 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 da. But obviously, clocking the man them's play in it. So mm. yeah, yeah. Obviously, but man can get if you can get man da da da. Yeah. Like, you can get deals and da 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 da. Whatever in it. So some long story short, or on a, what some a couple man fell for it. Mm. They were saying, yeah, like obviously we can get bud, we can get this. Mm. Then they started shooting man phones. Mm. They started shooting man blackberries okay. for mad cheap. Like I think they were pushing it on on the man. Mm. like, yeah, yeah, hold these blackberries. Obviously, sell them and bring me back the the dirt. Mm. So obviously now everyone in the hood's got these blackberries. They're bugged, didn't it? Okay. In the ends, like so. That was nuts, and yeah, so they licked bear man down because certain man was shooting them food, and they had like a. Uh, undercover nitty in the ends as well. Mm. It was all just a big operation, isn't it? I think something similar like happened in um, North London and in North London, in Edmonton, they actually yeah, opened a the, music studio with the burners, with the burners that. in there as well, yeah. One of my guys, my R.I.P. Bush, bro. Yeah. Like Bush Obama, man. Daniel Cuff, you get me? Like, that was one of my guys who got caught up in that as well. Still, like, yeah, I mean, even with that, is is it legal? I mean, I guess it is legal because the feds are, but like they're actually, it's called entrapment. You're actually telling people, yeah, come and do this for it. And so they're going out. Maybe they wouldn't have done those things, but you're actually pushing that on them. So yeah, I know it's techie, isn't it? Like I don't know how the, how the ins and outs of that entrapment thing work, but I just look at it like from when you're 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 giving boy them food or you're taking food or you're incriminating yourself mm. already. Whatever they're doing, I don't know. I just look, boy them get away with what they want to get away with. Yeah. So let's have it right in it. So. Mm. I just say that, right? If you're involved already, it's peak. It's peak. Mm. It's peak, bro. Like, and yeah, man. So that that happened, and obviously they licked down like about seven, eight of the dons in the end. And man was furious, fam. Mm. Like, man's thinking, right? That's what they're just setting up the dons, like you know what I'm saying to mm. fill. And obviously, yeah. So that, then the McDougan thing happened. So man was just it was vented up frustration, and yeah. I was like, what? You see what's going on in Tottenham? Fuck this, like, where, 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 you get me? And yeah, it just it it obviously we didn't expect it to be as big as that, but yeah. like, ah, uh, bro, like half, like. Half of the whole ends was just mm. fill up of people, bro. Like from everywhere. Like man's hearing bare accents. Manchester, mm. was like rare. It was mad. Still, it was mad. It was mad. So, yeah, so I mean, those are the, those crazy times. But I guess when we look, the whole point of why I do this sort of is to give people their flowers, but also to <laughs> have a reflection and look back on the sort of lives that we lived. And what we continue to see is that there's still many deaths happening on the on our, on, on the streets and. Well, it was two years ago now, uh, we're going to 2021. Someone who's, a, um, I didn't know him personally, per se, like that, but his mum's very good friends with my mum. And, um, like, from when my mum moved to, to, to Hackney, they've always been good friends, uh, Pipes. Yeah. So, I mean, that, that situation, um, I remember walking to go and get my hair cut, and I see police just stop random, some random um, kids on Amos Road. And I went to go, like, what are you stopping them for? They're like, there's been a stabbing. I'm like, you can't just stop black kids like that for no reason and try to stick up for these kids. And they said there's been a stabbing. And I'm seeing bare police cars going. I see the ambulance going past me. So I kept on walking. And someone said, oh, there's been a stabbing over there. So as I've walked, someone said, yeah, like, I see one of our young players that plays for a team, Jarrell, who lives in Pembury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like, oh, yeah, um, it's one of my friends. But he said pipes. And I didn't know him as pipes. I just knew his, I knew him just being through his mum. I mean, how did you find that that happened and how was that situation? Uh, that situation's mad, God. It still feels fresh. Mm. I don't lie, man. It still feels fresh. And like, obviously, man can't really break down the ins and outs. It's mad, isn't it? But um, man, I, was, I was in the studio, bro. Mm. I was in the studio when that happened. And obviously, I remember getting a call like, like bro, like, perhaps, it's, perhaps it's dead, fam. Like Pipes is dead, bro. And I was like, what? You know, and just thinking, what? Obviously, you know, man, them not played mm. like them type of games. Man, them yeah. will ring, man, and say them things. But you're just like, what a lie, man. Like, what are you talking mm. about? He's like, bro, like, he's getting, 
Yeah, you're bugging that man now. Mm. Bro, like, do you hear what I just said, Pastor? Then I'm saying, bro, how do you know? What are you talking about, man? Mm. He's like, because I'm looking at him right now, fam. I'm like, what do you mean, bro? Like, he's like, yeah, bro, like, man's, I'm here, bro. He's, he's, he's gone, fam. Mm. He's gone. I'm saying, wow, what do you mean, how? Like, he's like, but obviously, yeah. I can't say whatever. Mm. I remember like, there was, obviously, sometimes when people don't know, when police put their blue, uh, Ropes around you. There's been an incident, but when it's a red rope, it means that something's there's a mortality or a fatality. Yeah, yeah. I remember seeing it there, and people were going, "Nah, he's gone, he's no, gone." Like one of my guys, like obviously, man's rang one of my next guys who like lives around it, and I was like, "Bro, what's going on, fam?" He's like, "Bro, like man, just see the ambulance people like run down there like with the stretcher and that, mm. and, and man, there and they just come back up, just walk slowly back up, mm. like just carrying the stretcher, not him on it. So yeah. you know what that means, innit? Mm. You know what I'm saying? And, like pipes, bro. Like man was. But man was bringing him to the studio, fam. Like, man. he just started making music, yeah, saying, yeah, bro. Like, and he was like, obviously, there's like for the younger generation on, on in the ends, bro. He was the guy, fam. Mm. Like, he was the guy that he was the glue in it. Mm. He was the the link for the olders to the youngers, bro. Like, he was the guy that brought the youngers through to like maybe situation they wouldn't have been in if he weren't there. You know, yeah. like around the older man and to these things and to the studio making them work. Blood, like, mm. get me in. Yeah, bro. Like that. That there was. Uh, that was tragic, but I'm not gonna. Is, is that a thing that sort of pushes you to go harder with the music thing? I know sometimes as we get older, we're like, should we continue the music? But is that something that because he was so, I guess, trying to do the music thing now? So is that something that sort of galvanizes you? So much, fam. yeah. And not even the rap, just the rap, just him, like seeing the man them rap, bro. Mm. Like you see the happy, like the joy, bro. Like and Pipes is a serious, like Pipes was a serious brother, fam. Like. Mm. He didn't, Smile bear, he didn't laugh bear, but fam, like, you know when he's enjoying himself, mm. like, and, yeah, cause, like, man feel like man owe him so much, like, even there's bear man's homies that man's, that's, that's, that's been dropped, mm. that's, that's passed away, bro, like, and it's like, man feel like man owed him so much, but you see Pipes, bro, like, it, it, that was like, for me, like, obviously man's older now, innit, mm. but that was kind of like, the last straw for me, innit, mm. like, to say, raw man's putting, like, man's heart and soul into this, like, into this block thing. Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying, fam? Like, car, that wasn't your normal situation of, yeah, pagans coming. And it went, it mm. was deeper than that. Mm. You know what I mean? So, that kind of, to me, I'm like, right, man have to actually make it now, bro. Mm. Like, man's, man's lost too much. Mm. Man's lost too much and come through too much, bro, to not really, really put all man's eggs in this basket, bro, and go hard, fam. You know what I mean? Mm. And Pipes wanted the man them to blow, fam. Like, that's all he wanted the man them, bro. Like, he wanted the man them to bust, fam. So, that like, you... Just now, you said a, a pretty similar in regards to you've lost so many friends. Do you think we actually do that? I mean, do you, have you ever gone to talk to someone? It's like therapy. It's because mm. a lot of times we brought it up because you know you get soldiers who go to Iraq, yeah, they go yeah, to PTSD, war, and they come yeah. back. Yeah. yeah, and we as people in the, in the hood, we see all this trauma. We see our friends killed in front of us. We see stabbings. We see murders. We see shootings. We go to prison. With this beef in there, there's war. There's Every violations. Day, bro. Every day, bro. Like, do you think we need someone? Yeah. And do you think Mandem will actually go there? No, nah, that's the problem. Like, what do, you, what do you think stops people from actually pride, seeking? Like, man, Mandem's just too savage, bro. Mandem's just too, like, G. It's, it's, Mandem's too G'd up, bro. Like, mm. I'm not even saying myself. I'm just saying the mentality, bro. Mm. Mandem's got this G'd up mentality. Man don't need help. Mm. Man don't need that soft shit. Man don't need that emotion, bro. Man need it, fam. Mm. Man need it, bro. Because man's gonna be old, bitter guys, bro. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Man's, if you don't deal with what's up here, fam, we'll f you up. And I've tried it. Don't get me wrong. I tried it when I, w I, I wasn't so clued up and yeah. knew that I needed it. Like, I just went because, yeah, I thought it was the right thing to do. Like, man's gone, done counselling, sat down with this woman for three sessions and realised, bro, yeah. this woman don't know nothing. Fam. Mm. She's just reading off a template, fam, yeah. of what she's learnt in, in uni and that. Mm. So I'm looking at her. She can't relate to none of my man's mm. pain. No, nothing. So, no, nah, I, I packed it in. Then I went again. Like, a, a situation happened when I was a bit older and I was yeah. like, bro, man, need help. Mm. Like, man can't deal with this, bro. Like this is this is getting to me. So I, I went and spoke to someone that was very very like helpful in my life. That was trying to help me stay on a right path. Yeah. He he paid for it, Ross. Some serious counselling. You know mm. what I'm saying? The council will come down. Trying to the same thing again, bro. I'm just thinking, nah, man. You don't get it. Mm. And I need someone that gets it. Like mm. for me personally, I need someone that gets it. And mm. I feel like brothers like me and you, bro. Like man can be these counsellors for these yeah. youth, man, fam. Mm. These people that go in union, they don't know, bro. Yeah. They might have, they might have studied it, mm. but they don't know, fam. They ain't got lived they experience. They can't relate, bro. Like, and that's my problem. That was my problem. If I can chat to someone that's been through what I've been through, I might hear it. Yeah. Because you can't tell me the answers, bro. Because mm. you ain't been through it. And yeah, a lot of men need help. 
I keep telling man's, man's younger little bros and that fam, don't be ashamed to go and talk about what you're, like seeing death, bro. Mm. Like losing your bedrooms like every other day. Like one minute you're with a man, then he's gone. Now he's got 30 years. You're never going to see him again. In your head, that's mad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You have to go and talk about these things. You have to try and, luckily I do music. So yeah. I can write about these things. Not everyone's got that in it. So I've, I, I encourage, like, especially like the young, young males on the strip, bro, don't feel ashamed to go and talk to people about your issues, cuz, car. You need to get it off your chest, bro. You can't run around with that all your life, just like, like bare baggage and that's nuts. So, what, what do you think it actually changed that mentality? Do they need to see maybe you doing a one to one therapy session and yeah. then maybe that, that being recorded? That, 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 that's, I don't, that's I don't, a I, in yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what, I don't know, fam. I just think you gotta believe. I just always think that, like, if, you're, if you've got stuff bottled up, the only way that you're going to get rid of it is talking about it. Mm. Like, for me, that it, it's worked for me through music. So that's why I'll give man this advice. But I don't know. Like, it's each to their own, innit? Some people might be cool with not talking about it. I don't know. But I feel talking about your issues, bro, getting just... Whether, whether someone gives you the answer or not, you know what I'm saying? Just getting it off your chest helps a lot still. Mm. So, how would you say... I guess your own sort of legacy. Although I know you've been underground, but people people are aware of you. I wouldn't say you're you're an unknown. There'll be, there'll be younger people growing up who may not know. But what would you say your defining legacy is in this UK rap? Um, just keeping it a buck, bro. Mm. Just keeping it a buck. Like obviously, people like I've been through the wars. Still, like I'm not even talking about just battle. But I'm talking about the wars with life ups and downs and that. Mm. But I've always kept it a foul I ain't shied away from man's flaws I ain't shied away from negative situations that's happened to man whether it be funny whether it be embarrassing fuck, like man don't care fam mm. like, so uh, yeah it's, it's all in the name it's all in the brand fam R E A L, isn't it mm. man just keep it 100 bro like that's all it is and I feel like not everyone does that people like to fabricate and yeah. stick to the you know like the 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 the, the, the good mm. but with the good there's always bad innit and I like to try and bring a balance innit I'm, I'm going to touch on something that you might make you feel a little bit uncomfortable. No, go on, go and on. obviously, um, I think it was 2015, uh, that's when I first, uh, when I got out of jail, and I think it might be 2016, I see Snapchat going crazy, all the young players from my football team going crazy, then everyone's saying, oh my God, have you seen this thing in Hackney? Mm-hmm. And I see on Twitter, it's going crazy. So it was someone that was um, close to you, mm-hmm. I'm not going to go into names or anything, but there was this whole, this video that, Obviously, that it would. I mean, I guess we live in an age where people sexualize their sexualize, but he was doing porn where he was basically being gang banged by um, a group of white men and was calling him nigger and, mm-hmm. and things like that. I mean, that was someone that was close to you. How did that make you feel at that time? And did you even ever think something like that was possible? Nah, blood. That, that was the, the unthinkable store. Like, to, blood. Like, that, that was like a nightmare, to be fair, store. But, um, yeah, like, I was just touching on, you know, like, going through stuff, like, it's hard, but man will always make it at the other side, because man's strong, fam. Mm. Like, a lot of man thought that was going to break, man, still. Mm. Like, and even up to this day, like, man will still try and paint man with that brush. Oh, yeah, but man, no, it's not me, fam. Mm. Like, I don't control another man, innit? Mm. And unfortunately, yeah, I was close with Donny, but like I said, if man's snitching, if man's doing other funny things with their life, they ain't going to show you, bro. Mm. So... Obviously, it's hard, isn't it? But I was having a conversation with one of my guys the other day, and I was saying, bro, like, man's come through that. Man can come through anything, fam. I mean, like, did, 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 you, did you ever have a conversation with him after no, it happened? I never spoke to him. Like, everyone will always ask me that. Never spoke to him. I haven't seen him. I haven't tried to either. Mm. Like, that's, that's the thing. Like, why would I want to talk to a man that's, that's, that's on all of that? Like, that's not what I, <laughs> that's not my thing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so play, Playing devil's advocate, let's say you're someone that you, you used to be close to, right? Yeah, yeah. So if it's a thing like he reaches out and like, yo, bro, like we go a long way. It was just a phase in my life where, you know, like, I don't know what I was doing. And oh, I've always been like this. I didn't know how to come mm-hmm. out to the man them. Is that something a conversation you can have? No, or there, no. There's no we, can't have, we can't have no conversation. Because a conversation could have been had pr- prior to all of that. You know yeah. what it is? Like, he knew, yeah, what I was doing. Mm. I'm, I'm a f- I, put, I, I put my face out there. Like, yeah. I'm, 
I'm an artist, bro. Mm. Like, I've got people that listen to man. Like, when it comes to the ends, everyone knows my name, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he knew what I had. So if he's doing all of that, knowing that, right, if this can come out, that could F up my mm. man's thing, which it did. Mm. Uh, don't get me wrong. You think I stop, don't see the backlash mm. from it, fam? Like, well, it is what it is. You, say, you think that's tarnished your your brand and people say, oh, I can't take this man it's serious tarnished, it's, tarnished man's, it's tarnished man's brand. It could have done, done a lot worse, but I ain't let it. Because mm. I'm carrying on. I do my thing. Like, like I said, I, I'm good, bro. Mm. <laughs> I know that ain't me, bro. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But obviously certain other man, like, and only so right, if it was me as well, bro, and it was the next man from my other ends, I'd be looking at it like, bro, what? You used to chill with my man. I was on, mm. nah, that's dead. Mm. Like, that's a, on an on a ignorant mind thing, that's how I look at it. Mm. But I'm good, innit? You get but me the thing I'm going to say as well is that I, like, I don't I don't know my man. I never had any encounters with him mm. or not not known of him until that whole incident. But from the background, I was getting that like, right. He was actually someone that was on job, so everyone was surprised by that. But so, you know what it is though. Mm. You see this on job. You see this on job thing. This mm. is what man's realizing now in the streets, bro. Do you know how much mental health mm. is in in the streets, bro? Like just because someone picks up a knife here yeah, mm. and goes and puts it in someone doesn't even mean they're on job, bro. Mm. They could just be mad tapped, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying and. That, you see that behaviour, mm. like, and what he was doing, mm. it goes in... Do you think that, it's, it's, okay... It's psychopathic behaviour, yeah. bro. Mm. Like, that's mad. For you to be so calm around man them, you're acting like you're a gallish, you're acting like you're all these things, mm. and then you're doing that. Mm. And then you're doing that. You're, mm. you're doing the the, the, the the war thing mm. as well, and you're moving mad. Mm. You're tapped. You have to be tapped. Mm. That's how I look at it. And obviously, man them respect badness, but... You see, madness, mm. madness and badness, there's a thin line, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A madman, you, you just think he's bad, but mm. this time he's, he's tapped. He's willing to do things that you will never think of. You get me? Um, so this is what it is, bro. You like, think there's more There's more people in the ends in different areas like that and just uh, don't want to come out because of the embarrassment because being black, nah, there's always been that taboo. Nah. You, you, see, you see, this is what I'm saying, like, no offence, like, because I don't want to come across as this mad homophobic brother, yeah, but mm. no offence to, like, like, gay people yeah and all of that but you see what he was doing bro mm. i wouldn't even think they would do that mm. he was doing a madness bro mm. like he, what he was doing man no gal in the ends are on dirty things yeah mm. they won't do that bro mm. that's mad what he was doing that's some torture stuff you mm. know what i'm saying that's some demonic devil stuff you get me and so i don't even think it's about being a gay thing from mm. i think that's some madness that he had going on mm. some demons that he ain't dealt with in his life and yeah bro it will come out whatever he was doing but stay away from me with that that's that's just my stance, isn't it? So I guess moving on from that, and I guess concentrating on what you're doing now. So it's not really affected your brand. I mean, it's affected per, per se because of that association. What do you want people to take from your music now? Mm. Like, obviously, you grew up doing music when you were sixteen. Now you're thirty. What can people actually listen to your music and what are they getting from it now? Um, bro, just never give up, fam. That's one of them. Be yourself always, because. I feel like I got a, a bigger reception when I started being myself through music rather than doing music for other people and to impress other people. Mm. So just be yourself, bro. Like, you don't have to sway with the crowd, fam. You don't have to do what everyone else is doing. Yeah. And you can still be great. You know mm. what I mean? I'm not the perfect example because, bro, I'm not living in a mansion. I'm not pushing a Bentley off of rap. But, bro, like, man's, man's good. And mm. man will be good. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, bro, just be yourself, fam. Like, and don't let anybody else define... Or like mold where you're going, fam. Whether yeah. it be ops, whether it be man around you, bro. Whether it be man that's got negative opinions, whatever. Like, do what you feel is right, fam. That's it. So, w what projects can we look look out for now? Um, obviously, yeah, man. We got quite. We've been working, man. We have actually been working. So, I've got a a, a, a mixtape ready to drop called For Real. Um, my my guy, Big Watch. He's got a, a project called. Um, uh, is it worth the wait? I think it's worth the wait. That's about to drop. Um, we got an REAL project that's coming together, which is like me, Bam Bam, Trilla, Big Watch, NMS, like we're, we're all a little collective. So, yeah. yeah. Um, and I got a video meant to be dropping next week as well, still called Risky Roads featuring Trilla. So, yeah, man, we've been working still. We have been working, man. Are we going to hear, like you said, when you were younger, you were doing the singing thing? Are we going to hear mm. more of that? Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you into a secret. So, I know um, AV. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I went to his studio, I think it was 2019, I believe, and he was playing me some music and he was rapping and singing. And he's like, I was like, who's that? that that's Coins. I'm like, bro, mm -hmm. he's, he's actually, you don't know he's a singer like that. Yeah, yeah, man can actually hear a one, two notes. Yeah, so so don't is, be fooled. Is that, is that something that you feel that you can push as well? Or you just um, you're yeah. kind of rap thing? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's something that I've tried to push before, but it's all about timing, man. Like, mm. I know I can offer that, but at the same time, 
my, my, my main supporters, bro, like they want to hear man drop that paint, yeah. like hit that mic, like rip it up. So mm. I'm going to do that with a little bits of melody, like now and again. Yeah. But I've actually got a, a um, a all like singing project that okay. I'm sitting on. Like, so I'm just waiting. I'm because waiting for the right time. UK R&B, we're hearing this starting to emerge. And people yeah, but I'm not to... R&B though. Like, nah, not R&B because it's still R-E-A-L, bro, just with melody. But, but that's what I'm me? saying. I, I, I hear that, but... Is, is that is, is that the thing then? Because people think R and B automatically is seen as soft, whereas you got some people who do R and B who are about that life as well. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, no, of course, of course. It's just not, I don't think I, I think R and B like it's about the you topics soft, you're talking soft, about. It, yeah. like, what I'm talking about, I don't think you can play in a club. Mm. Like I think R and B is that club music, you know, like that soft vibe music. Mm. Like obviously it might have that sound, but would you call like Little Dirk and them man R and B? No, not so much. Not so but much. Them so man are singing. Yeah. You know what I mean? It sounds smooth. But mm. what man is talking about, it's like, nah, you okay. can't play that in, 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 in the club and get everyone lit. No, nah, I hear you know that. If you get, get any collaborations on the album, yeah. who, who would you want? Like, if you got your, name your top three people that you want to collaborate with in the UK and then of the US as well. The UK. Um, Someone not from your own uh, um, see, set. this is what I'm saying. <laughs> like, it's, this, that's hard then, fam. It's hard because, bro, man just fought with the bros. Um, UK, F- um, Fox though, Fox, Fox from Brom. Yeah, man, re- man, man, fuck with this thing art still. He's dope. Um, Vils from Newham. Yeah, cold artist still. I got interview coming up with bro. Him he's well. dope still, fam. Yeah. Man, been following his thing. Um, one more UK, UK. Ah, uh, let me think. Ah, oh, see, this is what I'm saying. I'm gonna have to say one of the bros, fam. But I've already, I've collabed with all of them already. Yeah. That's the worst thing. Who's your, who's your, who's your favorite UK artist? Kemzy. Kemzy. Yeah. I've, 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 I'm waiting for him to come back to me in terms of the interviews. Yeah. He said it, you, you, he's been to management. He'll come yeah, back to me. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, um, I mean, I was put onto Kemzy um, a while back when I was doing sort of my research into Hackney when I'm trying to invite different people and I said in jail and I see one of his three so I was like whoa who's this guy and everyone told me oh this guy like yeah he's <laughs> the musically he's talented but he's always in and out of jail but in terms of the music like he's hard no, bro, and it's is, hard. Is, is it someone that you've always sort of said that yeah he's, he's the hardest yeah cause he's always been he's been rapping for as long as I've been rapping fam mm-hmm. so or maybe even before so like yeah he's but he's always been like he's Pedigree's nuts, fam. Mm. And when you see him now coming out and doing his music, how's that making you feel? You feeling bro, proud? Motivational, proud, everything, fam. Mm. Like that's all man wanted for him, bro. Yeah. Like man just want him to be. He's he's always been great. Yeah. And man just want him to show the world, fam, his greatness. Mm. And that's what he's doing. You so what so what do you do then in the, in your kind of like spare time to keep yourself just level grounded? Because like there's so much going on. There's COVID mm. happening and the world is just going crazy. What 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 do you sort of what's your escapism? Um, obviously, right now, man started a, a football podcast, isn't it? So, man, that's taking up a lot of man's time, and that's good still. Cause man, love mm. football, bro. Mm. Like, man, love football. So, a couple of me and man's bros started a football podcast. Obviously, man, still writing a lot. So, man's in yeah. the studio. Literally, man, and there's a like I said, I love football, bro. So, mm-hmm. this this pandemic's been, bro, like every football every three days, fam. So. Or every two days, there's, there's a match. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Every other day, there's a match. So, Do you yeah. play yourself a bit still? Or? Not as much as I did still. Like, not seriously, anyway. Like, okay. kickabouts, but... I still wanna, I still wanna do the Sunday league thing and play week in, week out again, man. Yeah. I'm actually wanna start because I'm 35 now. Well, yeah. no, I'll be 35 a couple of months, and yeah. my missus keep telling me that I put on so much weight since <laughs> I started the foot, because since I stopped playing. But yeah. you're looking to do Sunday league. I'm looking to do a Hackney Week Sunday league yeah. team as well. So let me know if you wanna bro, get involved in that, man. Defensive mid, bro, man's there, fam. Well, defense, is that yeah, you? Defensive, defensive mid, mid bro. What, 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 what player would you say? Any pro player that you can say that's me. That's my game right there. Mm, pro player. Fernandinho. Fernandinho. Yeah. yeah. What is it about him? Greatness, though. Greatness. Greatness, but with still with that 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 little piece of tech. Mm. You know, like decision making, mm. good decision making, cool head. But yeah, man will clatter you still, bro. Yeah. That. So big up me your podcast. What is it called? So the people uh, it's called see. Kicking It TV. Um, Where can we find it? At the moment? YouTube based at the moment. We just wanted to get the visuals like the visual side of things boosted up. So we've got a few 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 episodes on YouTube. Um, we've been doing Zoom calls as well yeah. because of the COVID, innit? Mm. Um, so yeah, um, check us out. Um, kicking it at was it kicking it underscore TV on Instagram and kicking it TV on YouTube. Okay. 
Okay. Still. So when, when can we expect these new music projects? Anytime soon? Um, yeah, ve- very soon still. Obviously, like I said, I don't know when this is going to come out, but probably by the time this comes out, the music video should be out still. Okay. That's meant to be next week with Chill. Yeah. Um, project, I'm not going to get put a date on it, but latest it will be, in, in two months latest, but it could come out before that. I don't want to put a, 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 a date on it yet though. Um, and uh, everything else after that, man. Everything else after that still. Any last messages you want to give out to the young people out there or just to the fans or supporters or... Um, yeah, bro, to the young people, because they're the most important, fam. Just, like, just keep being yourself, fam. Mm. Don't do stuff because it looks popular or because everyone else says it's cool or gang or whatever, fam. Just, if you like something, go and do it, bro. Mm. That's how you should live your life, fam. Because in 10, 15 years, you're going to realise that's what you should have been doing. So start from early, man. Um, uh, there's another thing I want to start I'm putting you on the spot here because I've not done any of my interviews yet so I'm going to try and challenge so people from now on is there any exclusive freestyle they can drop on us Ross uh, it's, uh, it's on the spot I know it's on the spot Ross. but I'm trying to think that I just thought about it. you know what I'm getting a lot of give artists on here no acapella acapella um, I can probably give you something. Yeah, let's, let's get an acapella. Unless we've got, we got, next time I'll bring the speakers and we can do it. Like. Matter that. Guy, guy, I, say, I didn't even plan it. I thought, right, you know what? But yeah, give, give us an acapella. Uh, let, me, let me think still. Um, I'm looking at life decisions right now. Like, what's the value? Balcony view over the Thames got me flowing different. Mind working out like protractor trying to find an angle. Heard I'm wanted. Guess I'm parallel like Jaden Sancho. World's been fucked, man. I understand Heath Ledger. Give her deep strokes when I feel depressing. The feds be meddling trying to make man a defendant. Gears of wars, we gotta keep. Gears of war, we gotta keep weapons beneath bedding. Welcome home parties for snitches. That's never me bedging. Lucky if he don't catch a beheading. No regretting. Keep sending your catching smoke lamp with chips at show. Seven years gone, my homie just come back like. Bell, gosh, is in the air. I got my spliff, ram like gel. The man of any RD, like Pharrell. Me and Triller on the beat, man. That's non stop martial arts. I go with anybody, bar for bar, pound for pound. Come against coins, you couldn't last a round. Ask about, you can be Jamaican or a blood, you'll get clotted down. Got darted down, shanked the left, all his heart and mouth. I guess there's really not much more to talk about. Hey, cheese. Oh, yeah, hey, that's coins, that's coins. Check it out. Come Follow on, the man. YouTube, the new music video coming. And bro, bless for coming no, out, man. Bless for having me, Bobby, man. Keep no doing way, your man. thing as well. Bro. Appreciate it, bro. Come on, fam.